What is going on YouTube? My name is Fade Awaits and welcome to the second episode of Best Squid Beacon Locations. I'm going to be doing Kelp Dome in this episode and so we're going to go get straight into it and I did want to do a little note uh, for this map and that is this map does not give a lot of cover. It is a big map and these Squid Beacon locations are going to be a little bit more offensive uh, but there is just a little bit of defensive uh, locations where you can put uh, your squid beacons. So the first location I wanted to talk about is actually going to be behind this wall. And the reason for this one, again, this is a little bit more defensive. Uh, you have, you know, you have this wall that people won't splat you on. It's actually more the safest uh, squid beacon location you can put it on. And you can get into the action pretty fast straightforward and you could also go you know to your right and go onto that area and then push on that side second location i want to talk about is going to be more closer to your spawn but the problem is is that this is actually closer to their spawn as well since they could also jump from behind so you want to put a squid beacon here now this one's a little bit risky uh, i don't really recommend it too much but then again, there isn't really too many places where you could put squid beacons in this in this map. Uh, so these are going to be pretty, pretty risky. The third squid beacon location is going to be behind this rubber, this rubber thing. I, I don't know what to call it. Uh, the reason for this one is just because there is going to be always action here. Uh, whether it's be it's like splat zones or tower control or any any sort of you know ranked or turf wars whichever one it's always going to be in the middle so a lot of people are going to be shooting on that corner they're going to be sh trying to shoot everyone that tries to go on top of their little thing whenever you play ranked but if you don't play ranked and you play turf war or you play anything else this is going to be one of the you know the big locations where you could just jump straight forward and go around and then just jump straight in so again switching my ink so this is going to be a little bit more offensive see if it changed it yeah so for the more offensive based squid beacons and we're kind of going to do kind of the same as the last video but Again, there isn't really too many locations that I could, you know, show you guys. But one of my favorites is actually kind of the same as the other one, and it's behind this wall on the other side. And the reason for this one is just because, again, a lot of people go on this area. They mostly go straight forward into over here, or they go on top, and then they go straight in. You can't see the squid beacon unless you go back here and then you know you take it out but rarely will anybody go on this corner uh, of the map so it's pretty pretty fast you could go straight into their spawn and then you know take them out take all this and also you could take them from behind whenever they're not looking and take them out like that and I believe that that is all the squid beacons for this location. Every other uh, location would be very, very risky and actually would be taking more, more of a risk than just swimming in between, you know, this map. So that's the only really big offensive one where you want to push them back. That's the only one that I know of. So that was the video for Kelp Dome. I know it was pretty short. But, again, there's not really that many locations where you could put squid beacons, so. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do know any locations, please leave a comment below. And if you do like this series, please give this video a like. It really helps me and motivates me to make more. And I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Fadeaways. Stay fresh, you guys.